I received a question on how to make a Fibonacci spiral in a Libre, and the answer is, of course we'll go through that. Now, keep in mind that you only need one dimension to make a spiral like this. Let's get into it. So in the new part environment, I'll jump on the XY plane, and I'll make an arc. And with this arc, I'll go horizontal on the start and the end points. All right, and so this is going to be one and one, which means the next arc is going to take up two. We're going to give this a radius of one. So we've gone one, two. So our next one is going to be three. And we're going to start it right here at the end point. Three, and we're going to go 90 degrees, just like that. And we're going to say vertical. Now from here, let's start making a bit of a frame. And I actually like to draw this badly so that I know which one needs constraints. I'll grab horizontal and make all my horizontals horizontal. And then I can go vertical, right, and make all my verticals vertical. So once I've got this frame going, and I can even see my units, right? This is a one by one, this is a one by two, this is a one by three, and so on. Next, I can grab my arc, make another 90 degree angle, another 90 degree angle, and, and by 90 degree angle, of course, I mean 90 degrees of rotation in arcs. And then when I've, when I've done that, I can continue with my construction geometry. And again, grab all my horizontals and make sure that they are horizontal. And then grab all my verticals and make sure that they are vertical. And we'll again, 90, 90, 90 and so you get the picture right and then we would grab more uh, construction geometry make that frame and then reference that frame to continue drawing arcs i'll grab this endpoint and make it vertical let's stop there so i can deactivate a sketch i can grab my extrude and i can go with a thin extrude and there i have the start of a fibonacci spiral now it's important to know there's a mathematical element behind this that may produce slightly different geometry, but being able to use 90 degree arcs is so negligibly close, it really shouldn't matter uh, what you're after. This uh, should be a great approach to making a simple Fibonacci spiral.